ludicrous, mmm, Velvet Jones, aka slap a trick with a cellular phone, I'm carrying chrome, bullets headed straight to your dome, I dig my cradle from my grave, bury my bones, it's scary alone, scarier than hesitant people, gotta smoke a lot of good cause my residence evil, my weapons are lethal, lethal like Murtaugh rigs, after I blast you I'ma hurt y'all kids. Hey, what's going on, y'all? I am Isaac. Welcome to the channel. This is where that real hip hop lives. Please subscribe and make sure you hit that bell so you always stay notified whenever I drop that heat. Today, I got a review of Ludacris. Luda! Damn, I love saying that shit. This is his third studio album, Word of Mouth. Yo, the album cover is one of a kind. It's always been one of my favorites. If you were talking to a rare person who never heard of Luda before, the artwork would sum up everything for you. Just some wild, out of the box shit. You got the dog with the human teeth, you got Luda's big ass head, paws, and it's just so classic. Word of Mouth released on November 27, 2001, debuting at number 3 on Billboard and selling 281,000 copies in the first week. The album would eventually go 4 times platinum and was even nominated for the best rap album at the 45th Grammy Awards. Ludacris was simply spectacular on this album. He was extremely versatile, charismatic, he was very simile, very metaphor heavy. The album was funny as hell too with all the skits, a lot of sexual shit here. But when he had to get real and serious, he was able to do that without compromising his energy and his ability to entertain us. Word of Mouth had four singles. You had Area Codes, Roll Out, Saturday, and Move. I didn't really like Saturday too much, but the other three singles, nobody can deny how Dylon, Dylon, Dylon they were, you know what I'm saying? Area Codes, featuring Nate Dogg, God Rest His Soul, and produced by Jazzy Faye, was a very smooth, melodic track about Luda being a player in these streets and having bitches everywhere. Nate Dogg's voice, man, like, he's bodied so many hooks, it's not even funny. I wish homie was still here, man, love that guy. Roll Out, which was produced by Timbaland, was a song that really showcased Luda's creativity. Them big ass dome pieces was genius because it really made the music video pop. Move featuring Mystical and I-20 and produced by KLC was the biggest song on word of mouth. This song was absolutely a monster. Whether we're in the whip or on foot and we trying to get somewhere, we've all wanted people to just get the fuck out the way. Everybody can relate to that shit. Growing Pains featuring Keon Bryce and Fate Wilson produced by Pete King is one of the more serious and heartfelt songs on here. You guys already know how much I love to reminisce about my childhood and that's exactly what the song was all about. No matter what we've been through in our life, we all have moments, especially when we were little kids, that we all remember that brought us happiness. Word of mouth man, this classic album is just riddled with heat. There's so many dope tracks on here and I would say that my favorite track on this album was probably Block Lockdown featuring I-20 and produced by Bangladesh. As soon as you hear the beat, you already know some real ill shit is about to go down. I always go back to that track, especially when I'm about to work out or something. I gotta give some shout outs to Twister on Freaky Things, as well as my man Four Eyes on the Word of Mouth Freestyle because they went crazy. Hands down had the best verses. I haven't listened to Twister too much in my life, but I always respected him. I'm definitely gonna react to some shit in the future. And Four Eyes, he has never gotten his recognition for being dope. I don't know what happened to bro in his career, but I'll fuck with him. He can really go. I really enjoyed the production on Word of Mouth. There wasn't many beats that I just wasn't feeling on here. Everyone did a very good job. When I look at Ludacris and all of the success that he's had in hip hop, putting together a lot of dope albums, he recently got a star on the Walk of Fame, you know what I'm saying? I still feel like he's very underrated. Ludacris is a fucking legend in hip hop. He's a huge deal. Being able to rap very well is super important, but also how unique you are, how different you are than the rest matters because if you're just like everybody else, you really might not get the recognition at all. So we gotta give Luda his flowers just off the fact that he was just so different and he was nasty with his pen as well. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching the video. Please like and get in the comment section. Let me know what your favorite song on the album was and let me know what your favorite album from Luda is. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and follow me on Instagram at I'm Hurricane Isaac 95. I'm gone. Peace. Rise to the occasion. My grace is amazing. I fuck with your mind just like an algebra equation. Woo!